Transformation Tuesdays. Today we're here with a short hairstyle. It's really elegant. It's great for special occasions. Is it true making me want to go short with my hair? Are you sure about that? No, I actually like it. Okay, but not my actual hair. Probably just a wig. A later hair. She, she hair. never knows what she wants to do to her hair. Yeah, I'm really disgusted. Yesterday. And then I just end up with just this all the time. <laughs> Yesterday she wanted about 10 different hairstyles. Okay. So. Uh, I'll stick to my usual routine. Just don't listen to us. This video was so much fun to shoot. Literally, so much fun to shoot. And it was a really nice, dramatic, black, smoky eye on her as well. So if you want to have a look, stay tuned. Okay, so first you need to section the hair, then measure out a piece of the weft that fits in the section and stick it down with the bonding glue. Repeat this step until you reach the crown area. Though I'm scared of being blind. Make sure you don't apply any of the bonding glue onto the scalp. Bonding is a quick way to temporarily add length and colour into your hairstyle. When removing bonding glue, I would advise you use the bonding glue remover. Using this method will avoid causing damage to your hair. Once I added all the tracks, I then cut it into the desired shape. Using a razor is the easiest way to blend the hair into shape. Sometimes I, wonder, sometimes I, worry I then cut some layers into the fringe area to give it a bit more bounce. I curled the hair using a medium sized tong. As you can see the fringe area is curled, I then pin curled it into place to set the shape. The same time I look for the light, though I'm scared of being So now we're getting started on the makeup. I started by filling out the eyebrows with an ankle brush and a little bit of a brown eyeshadow. And then I went underneath with a bit of concealer to add a little bit more definition. I then put on the regular eyeshadow primer to keep on the eyeshadow that went in with the bridge colour and I've chosen a brown for today. Because we're doing a really dark smoky eye, I started off by adding a gel liner all over the eyelid. And then on the outside, I just went with a clean 217 brush and I just blended it all out. So I didn't want any lines, creases or seams or anything like that. I then lined underneath the eye on the waterline just to add it a little bit more definition and make it a little bit more black. In the centre I added the bronze eyeshadow then I added a bit of black just in the corners, in the corner and outer corner to add a bit more definition and then some mascara. And then I added the lashes, can't go anywhere without lashes girl. On Rebecca I did my usual contouring and the highlighting routines. If you want to see, check the previous video. I then added Spring Sheen Blusher from MAC. To add to the sultry effect, I just went underneath her eye with a little bit of a brown eyeshadow and I just blended that out and I added a little bit more black liner. Next, I lined it with a brown liner that I went on top with a lovely nude lipstick I'm using Freckle Tone from MAC. I then went on top of a lovely highlighter just to add a little bit more dimension to her face and then that was the finished look. I hope you enjoyed. Once the curls are set, remove the pin curl clips and use hairpins to lock the curls into place. And this is look number one. Oh wow. Well, that is sick. I'm not gonna maintain I'm not gonna do this beat face every day. No, if pink colours are not really your thing, you can always brush them out and style them. Sometimes I worry about opinions and for me in this position pulls me under. Just 
to wonder Why do I close my eyes The same time I look for the light Though I'm scared of being 